Joining us, an Oklahoma City police veteran will not be going to prison for firing a gun near a group of people outside of a nightclub. In June of last year, D.A. David Prater filed felony charges against Sergeant Dyron Carter and another police sergeant. But we've learned the D.A. just dropped the charge against Carter. New at 6, News 9's John Jordan went to the D.A. to find out what changed his mind. John? Well, Kelly, while it might sound like Carter is getting off easy, not so fast as part of the deal, Carter had to give up a lot his job. It took only a matter of minutes outside Night Trips Club in June of 09 for Deer Ron Carter's career as a law enforcement officer to be over. The sergeant, along with fellow Sergeant Michael McKeithen, were charged with a felony for using a vehicle to intentionally discharge a firearm. Carter could have faced years in prison, something he no longer has to worry about. His attorney telling us the case has been dismissed and Carter is moving on with his life. There's been enough that has happened to him on a case that was dismissed on its merits. Those merits, according to District Attorney David Prater, are that Carter would resign from the department and turn over his cleat license. As for McKee, then his case is still pending, but Prater expects his case to be disposed of early next month. Both an effort to follow through on a bold statement he made when the case first broke. If they want to act like gangbangers, we're going to treat them like gangbangers. Now, while we may know the outcome of Carter's criminal investigation, the findings of the department's internal investigation will remain a mystery. They're not quick investigations. They're very thorough and detailed investigations. Fortunately, after a year and a half long, the investigation was complete, but not before both men announced their resignation, making it impossible to know what the department Found. And I don't have the privilege of knowing uh, what the issues were with this investigation, uh, what, what caused you know, this investigation to take the amount of time that it took. Uh, that would be something that only those that were involved in the investigation would know. And even though it appears McKeithen will have his case disposed of, the veteran officer still faces other criminal trouble, troubles. Early, earlier this year, the state charged him with filing a false insurance claim. That case is still pending. Kelly? All right, John. And the DA tells us he expects McKeithen's case to be disposed of sometime early next month. Prater says once that happens, he will speak publicly about both cases.